Let me stop here yes i know it's been a minute your girl has been busy okay i'm in the middle of transitioning out well i'm at the tail end of transitioning out of the military okay that's a whole nother set of videos okay i am vlogging my process so make sure you check those videos out um but today i want to come to you and talk to you about the process that i'm going through and looking for a beauty school um, the reason why I wanted to do this video is because I have really looked to YouTube for good information on like picking a school, um, to see if there were anybody like vlogging the experience. And I have found a lot of videos, but nothing really, really good. Okay. So I want to make sure that through my process of picking a school and everything like that, that I'm able to give you that I'm, that I, cre that I am creating good content so that it helps someone that may be wanting to um, change their career or looking to start a career in the cosmetology field. Now, when we say cosmetology, you have to understand that cosmetology is very broad and that includes hair, nails, skin, okay? It's just not hair anymore, okay? It's very broad, but um, I am very interested in my career change. I want to do hair full time as you all may or may not know, I have my own hair company, touchbytiehairco.com. Okay, right now I sell wigs and locally I do do installs, sew-ins um, and wig installs locally where I'm at. Um, so I'm looking to start to get, start my journey on getting licensed in cosmetology with, um, you know, that, that emphasis being on hair, okay? I am currently in Jacksonville, Florida. I will be relocating to San Antonio, Texas. So I'm looking at schools in Texas. Now, if you are in Texas or in the San Antonio area, this will be easy for you because you're already there. For me, it's a little bit more difficult. So I'm doing everything virtually. With that being said, communication is key, okay? So I have reached out to a few schools. I have reached out to Ogle. Paul Mitchell, the Salon Professional Academy of San Antonio, Vogue, Aveda, um, in the University of Cosmetology, Arts and Science, Hair Nails, I mean, Arts and Science, San Antonio. Oh, y'all, let me tell you. Okay, here's the tea. Ogle, beautiful school. Okay, beautiful school. Um, I did get good response communication with them. But when it came like, cause I'm using my VA loan. So when it came down to me, like going through the process of using my VA loan, it's like, it's, I don't know if they don't know what's going on. I don't know if they, if they haven't had, ooh, sorry, if they haven't had many people use their VA loan, I don't know, but I'm just not getting good enough feedback for me. Okay. So Ogle is kind of the communication. Communication is key for me because of the distance. So communication is very, very important for me. And they have just, it's been some, hes some hesitation with that. And that's very frustrating for me because I'm trying to get things set up. So when I get there, I can start school. So that's what it is with Ogle. Um, the Salon Professional Senate of um, Professional Academy never got contact back. Nobody never contacted me back. Nobody never followed up. I've emailed them twice, called them twice. They told them they took my name and information and they're supposed to get back to me. Never got back to me. Um, Aveda. Aveda, I didn't. So when I, when I, I was able, somebody did get back to me from Aveda, but 
I didn't know if that was going to be a good fit for me. Okay. I'm looking for a school. It has to be like the criteria, the criteria, Lord, the criteria and the um, course dialogue it just has to fit me now i am somebody that does have somewhat of a background in hair so i'm not completely stupid when it comes to hair or i'm not this person that doesn't know what they're doing i hate to say it but cosmetology school is not going to teach you talent either you have the talent to do hair or you don't you have to possess that before you go to school I, it doesn't teach you talent like you either have the touch or you don't. Um, what cosmetology school does, in my opinion, is it gives you the basis of how to do things properly. And, and it gives you the educational knowledge on what to do and how to go about passing your state board. Okay. Most people, I mean, I don't know. My experience with cosmetology school, again, I am African American. Most girls that attend cosmetology school in our culture there are they were they were like doing hair <clears throat> from when they were a teenager so going to cosmetology school is going to do two things for them give them the education piece that they need to pass the state board and then make them better like because they're kind of already a beast it's not a field that you jump cosmetology i'm sorry doing hair is not something that you just say i'm gonna go to school and do it's not like college like college, you can have a subject, you can be taught that subject. Doing hair, they can teach you how to do things, but you still have to possess that gift, that touch. And ladies, I'm not gonna tell you guys to waste your time, but if you don't have that touch, you, you're wasting your time and you're just throwing away money because, and then you have to love it. You have to love it. It's a lot of hard work. It's standing up on your feet. It's long hours. Like you have to really love what you do in order to be a hairstylist. Now, esthetician, makeup artist, nail tech, those are different realms that I don't really know anything about. But I know we're doing hair. Yeah, you got to love what you do. Okay, the University of Cosmetology, Arts, and Science. The website, so this is, this is another thing. When you're trying to do something distance learning, if you are a school or any type of local business, update your website, okay? Because you never know the potential clients or the potential students that you can have. I don't want to come onto your website and see something from 2018. It is 2021. So little things like that were my determining factor on even moving forward in the application process with the school. Because again, I don't have the convenience of driving to the school and seeing it. So everything for me is done virtually. And a lot of these schools do not update their social media accounts. They do not update their websites. And I know that you're actively open. I know that you're actively intaking students. So like, why are these things not done? Uh, long story short, fast forward. I'm not gonna waste a whole bunch of time. My pick was Paul Mitchell. And don't get me wrong. I know a lot of people say, Oh, well, Paul Mitchell this, Paul Mitchell that, Paul Mitchell this, Paul Mitchell that. Let me tell you something why Paul Mitchell is so successful. Okay, number one, it is an amazing brand. Number two, their state board passing rate throughout the United States is 97%. So that means in all 50 states, 97% of the students that attend Paul Mitchell, that go up for the state board, pass it the first time. So that tells me that their curriculum is set up for me to achieve the goal that I want to achieve. That is passing my state board and becoming a licensed hairstylist in the state that I'm living in, which will be Texas. So I know everybody's like, oh, Paul Mitchell's so, so cliche. By all means, I made this video to each his own. Every school is not going to fit you. Paul Mitchell might not fit you. Okay, and yes, Paul Mitchell is one of the most expensive schools, but their curriculum stood out to me. Their communication and their employees and professionalism was ex was excellent. Okay, I got I went online where their website was up to date. Okay, the, the phone numbers were up to date, the people that are on their website are up to date, everything is there for you. 
they contacted me within 24 hours and started my process, walked me hand in hand and continued to follow up out of all of these schools that I reached out to. Not only that, they sent me video of the campus. They understood my situation, that I was not there locally. Like this school really just went above and beyond. And I haven't even, I hadn't sent them a deposit or anything yet. So kudos to the crew at Paul Mitchell San Antonio. I am excited to be starting with you guys. Um, professionalism is key, okay? Getting back to, because whether or not you want to think about it, you're a client. When you pay somebody your money, you're a client. Yes, you're a student, but you're paying this school. This is a business transaction. So what you get in the beginning, take heed to that because that might be how this school is. And I don't have time or the energy or the money to be wasting to get to a school. Don't like it. Now I got to withdraw and start my process all over. Um, you know, just communication is key with me. And I got that back from Paul Mitchell. Okay. I got that back from Paul Mitchell to school in San Antonio, Texas. Um, a few things that I wanted to talk about while looking, okay, while looking. Do your research. Do your research. It's so utterly important to do your research. Do your research on these schools. Talk. Ask people. Look at Instagram. This is why social media is so important for all of you schools out there that have not updated your social media. Please do so. Because when you update your social media, okay, if you have a, a potential student like myself and you've updated your social media featuring your current students, you have potential students that look and can reach out to students by hashtag or Instagrams, right? You can reach out and say, hey, how was the school? How you like? Those things are important for somebody that's relocating just to attend your school or that's moving there and thinking about attending your school. Please update your social media. So many, I'm going to be honest with you, Ogle, Paul Mitchell, and Aveda, Aveda were the only three websites, were the only three Facebooks, and were the only three um, social media accounts that were uh, websites that were updated. Everything else is like 2019, 2018, not, not 2019, 2018, 2016, 2010. And I, no lie, y'all, San Antonio has about 20 cosmetology schools. But none of the social media, none of the content is up to date. So schools, administration, whomever you are, it will behoove you to take the time to... Um, look into your social media or find you somebody that so does those that's things. why the social media aspect kind of stood out to me um communication whatever it is that you have set up on the website and normally when you go up to the website they say request more information somebody should be returning or getting back to the student potential student potential client within 24 to 48 hours like I had forgot I didn't reached out to some of these schools and it was three or four days later and they were contacting me. And I'm like, what about what? And they're like, oh, this is so-and-so from so-and-so in San Antonio, Texas. And I'm like, what? Oh, you sent us this on email. It's, five, it's four days later. Like, I totally forgot. So communication, updating your social media, doing your research as an incoming student it's, it's you. You have to do the work. The schools is not going to do the work for you. They're not. You have to do the work. You have to look at this curriculum. You have to see what it is that if they have somebody that's specializing in things that you want to do. I also want to do um, lashes. And Paul Mitchell, the school San Antonio, they offer a lash class, like a separate, it's a separate, total separate certification that I can take while also attending that school. So that was a plus for me. I also want to do makeup. They do not have a certified makeup program there. They have an esthetician program, but they will refer you out to schools that do that. So they have makeup schools that work alongside them that they sponsor. Um, basically that I can transition into those programs at a discounted price. Ching, ching. It's all about the money. Okay. 
So you just have to find what fits you. Don't worry about what people say. Don't worry about, oh, don't go here. It wasn't a good experience for me. What's good for somebody else? What's good for the gander may not be good for the goose, okay? Tomato, tomato. No. Like, it. figure out what you need, what's going to fit your best interests, and what works for you. Another thing that um, location was prime for me. A lot of the schools in San Antonio um, are located in industrial areas, with the exception of Ogle. Paul Mitchell, and the University of Cosmetology, Arts, and Science. They had the best location. They're in a mall. Like, you can't get any more clientele than being in a mall. You want to be somewhere where you will have high traffic because you want to build a client base and you want to get the chance to work in a busy atmosphere. So location was also another huge thing for me. Um, I wanted something close to my house and close to my kids' school. With me being in the military, I've been away from my children long enough. I want to be able to take my boys' lunch on my lunch break. I want to be able to, if I need to get to them, get to them. Um, I don't want to be far away from home. I don't want to have a long commute. So all of these things, even down to the salon that I want to work at, is where near where I live. So all of these things are were important to me in my search. So Paul Mitchell kind of worked out for me. That might not be the school for you. Make sure you take some time out to do the research. It's going to be vital. It's very important. Um, none of these schools really have a, how can I say it? An ethnic guided uh, program. But some of them do, ha within their curriculum, have modules or sections or lessons where they do talk about ethnic hair. Granted, nothing is catered to just ethnic hair. And I do feel like now in cosmetology, especially dealing with hair, it is very broad. Natural hair is a really big thing. There should be a lesson on that. Hopefully schools will uh, come up to 2021 and, and, and start putting that in their program. Um, but I did like the way that the curriculum went when I spoke to people within uh, Paul Mitchell, because they do touch on ethnic hair. Um, it, it's not as much as I would want it to be. And maybe that'll be my blessing in being a part of the crew. Maybe I can bring that to them. But um, yeah, it's a very Hispanic and Caucasian area. It's very mixed. It's very multicultural in San Antonio. Um, so yeah, they most places teach on their curriculum, but also on their clientele. People are not coming into the Paul Mitchell in San Antonio and getting a full weave. They're not. But if they wanted to, I'm your girl. But anyway, yeah. So just be mindful of that. Be mindful of your exposure. Um, be mindful of you having the opportunity to grow as an entrepreneur, as a business person, as a student, okay? Um, yeah, but that's just my quick spill. This is not a long video. Um, make sure you like, comment, and share this, okay? I just wanted to come up here and like share my first steps. Um, I will be vlogging my journey once I start school. Um, I'm going to do a complete vlog of my entire journey in hair school, okay? And um, I'm also going to be vlogging my travel. And when I moved to San Antonio. So y'all make sure you hit that subscribe button and hit that bell so that you know when I upload something. Okay. And share and comment. Yeah. Ask me questions if you have any questions. And um, stay tuned. Make sure you check out my uh, Sailor to Civilian series. I'm still in the middle currently of doing that vlog as well. So yeah. Make sure you follow me on Instagram and Facebook at Touch by Ty Hair Co. And I will see you soon. Bye, angels.